Davis has a great personality, but they did nothing with him in this movie. Yeah. So we literally just watched Call Time starring Tyrone Magnus last night, and uh... Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Dion, with the Think Air. Right now, I'm with Humanoid Freak. We back, boy. Jagged solid. <laughs> why, why are we here, Dion? Please okay. tell the audience why we're here. <laughs> we're watching a movie called, called wait, We're watching a movie called Time Call Time the Finale. Ooh. Of Tyrone, yeah, starring Tyrone Madness. This is the first movie uh, I know of him acting in. It is directed by. Yeah, he, he did London, that TV show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your London, favorite show. I forgot all about that. London. Yeah. <laughs> and it's directed it by Derek Hummel. Yeah, Derek so, Hummel. so in a nutshell, this movie brings together a cast of misfit characters to a random house in the middle of the woods to film a movie that they don't know anything about. Yep. I got a get out vibe from this movie a little yeah, bit. Yeah, at, at the start, I did. What are the, the place positives where they of this shot movie? What, do you, what did you like, enjoy? The location where they shot it was pretty good. It was like nice and beautiful, like the house and like the outside. Like it was huge and all. Yeah, like, cinematography like, wasn't bad. I give him yeah, that. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Uh, uh, some of the characters, good characters. DC, yeah, there's, DC. Yeah, there's good characters. DC, DC was, was the best character in this. He definitely was. He outshines Tyrone. Place would be hella boring without you. Yeah. Gammy, Gammy. Yeah. Abigail wasn't bad. She yeah. had an interesting storyline. It was cut short. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What, what uh, else? Um, <laughs> oh, man. Gammy uh, was a good actor. You said Gammy twice. Gammy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Who wants to go first? Your optimism is misplaced. Okay, what in the blue hell was this? <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie? Uh, I was completely bored by it half the time. I was falling asleep most of the time. <laughs> but I kept getting waking up by you guys' commentary. <laughs> You're too old for him. That's what he about to find out. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Here we go. I, I knew that was happening. All right, so, like, like, this shit is too obvious, bro. What the f yo? What's up with this movie? Where is the horror? <laughs> this is the horror. He's still waiting for the horror. So the commentary, watching it with friends, was better yeah. than the movie. Yeah. So I came into this movie thinking Tyrone was gonna be the, like the headliner, the main character that people were gonna be invested in. And after like the first five ten minutes, I quickly learned that wasn't the case. <laughs> he came into the movie yeah. moping, wearing his own T-shirt. Yeah, well, that, that I, I guess Tyrone Magnus could exist in this universe. Yeah, I guess he exists. Like... And Ty and Ethan Shaw is a Magnusite himself. So I'll I'll, yeah. I'll I'll leave that one alone. I'm not gonna nitpick on that. <laughs> Think about this though: if Tyrone Magnus exists in this universe. Ethan Shaw is a magnetite who likes a guy that looks exactly like him. <laughs> is he thinking he does he have a twin somewhere? He has to hey, talk to hey, his don't, parents and go like, hey, don't, what's don't going worry on here? About Look, the thing, I just don't understand what the hell was they doing. First, there were shots of the fucking actual camera crew in certain scenes. Yeah. And yeah, we That's... had to go back and rewind and catch it. He's like, yeah, did I just see that? He's like, yep, you can see the camera crew. The Clear as day. The thing about this movie was Tyrone Glasses. This man, <laughs> Glasses, <laughs> not over the fucking place. The glasses, the glasses had more character development <laughs> than Ethan. Yo, 
Oh my goodness. Thank most you. of the like most of the, the actual hard things, they just show you off screen. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. They only show you one certain thing, and it's somebody's fingers getting ripped off, and they just show you one that shot. Was, yeah, that was the only time I went like, oh. Yeah, and guess what? You had to wait an hour, almost an hour and a half to see that. Yeah. There, like, this is labeled as a horror movie. Horror was Before you horror. go into watching it, it's not a horror movie. Was so, I was the it took movie. them. It took everybody a week to figure out what the hell was going on. It, it, yeah. Like some I people, understand. some people kind of grasped the concept early on. There's just something about that I don't like. Okay, that dude just gives me a shitty vibe. I feel that same way about Sean. But they just brushed it off. But then you had characters like Tyrone's Ethan Shaw just being <laughs> oblivious to the clear signs he's given. And where's the rest of your crew? wouldn't come together. I brought a handful of you out here early so you could all get to know each other a little bit better. It's really necessary if I'm going to pull off what I'm trying to pull off. And what are you trying to pull off? Like I said, make the best horror ever. Tomorrow is just a killer of a day and I need to get some rest. <laughs> Who wrote this shit? Having people oh, sneak yeah. up on them. Ethan? Not here. Yeah. Let's get the key. What the fuck is that? What? That? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we have the Undertaker in this movie. The Undertaker doing, is the one with the fucked up eyes. Doing the, and they do the Undertaker eye roll <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> There will be no resting in peace. There is no peace in the Undertaker's mortuary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, could you be more obvious? I, I could not get, like, I could not take Tyrone's character seriously. He was too goofy. He didn't really fit the role. He didn't all. emote. At yeah, all. he didn't emote. emote he didn't emote whatsoever. Okay, we were wrong. He did emote once. He was so boring, like, it was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, ain't you the around. star of the movie? Can we get to the start when they're in the van, and he's oh, whispering wait. on the phone when oh, someone's sitting oh, right yeah, next to him? Yeah, oh my god! There was no point of time. There was a lot was, of pointless scenes in this movie that didn't go I, anywhere. Yes. If you smell what the rock is cooking. The gun only ensures that things will end poorly at this point. It's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Shit. There was a scene where it was this girl and she was with her friend. And it made it seem like, oh, she seen Tyrone, and you know, she was kind of happy to go inside there. <laughs> I don't know what you were watching, but I watched something completely different. See, she looked see, like, hey, that's I know that guy. She went inside. Now all of a sudden, she was like really sad, and she just started crying, started having temperature tantrums, and we still see the cameraman again. And, and a quick in the second, real Kyle. In the and real I was Kyle. like, oh my god. Just tell me where she is. Just tell me where. She Okay, I just want to know. Yeah, calm down right now. I can't help you. Okay? I can't do anything for you. Sorry. You're a liar. Oh, okay. You're a fucking liar. Got that, Okay, cool. I'm interested to see where this goes. I mean, it's gotta lead to something, right? Wouldn't it be terrible if it didn't? None of that is covered in the movie. None of it. There's no camera crew that shows up that they've been telling you for a couple days, oh, they're coming. 
it gets to the point where it's been a week no camera crew shows up and everyone's yeah. still fine being there like i thought the two new characters that came in were the camera crew at no. first and I'm glad they showed up that brought some life to the movie because it was, <laughs> if it wasn't for you said that one guy was from the Wii shop from back in the day yeah he was he wasn't bad until it got to when it counted and they they decided to talk for 15 minutes <laughs> just repeating the same lines we'll, we'll show it Derek and Leah probably need our help no we need to stay here they'll be back a few moments later was coming back probably would have came back already yeah which means they're probably dead eventually what do you mean we don't know that for sure you just said if they was coming back they'll be back already or they need our help i mean i think they would do the same for us do the same for us what the fuck is you talking about Philip? meanwhile One hour later. Let me fucking know these people. I want to get the fuck out of here. We don't go from nothing. I came out here to film a movie and now I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life! Two hours later. I say we get the fuck out of here. I want to go home. Y'all killing me with this shit! They dead. We're going to grab the keys and get as far away from them as possible. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. They just kept repeating lines to each other. Yup, yeah, that, that's all. That's the worst part of this movie. They keep repeating lines. Every, mostly every actor in this movie repeated the same line over and, and over. And the director didn't know when to cut. Yeah, they just let the scenes go on. Yeah, he just kept on going. So, nobody got here for that. No one ever does. They did not do any rehearsals, none okay. of that. And that's why I feel like Tyrone's character, it, it was so bland and boring. We didn't really get that at all. We just got some random yeah. guy. And thing this. is, most of his character development was told to us by other characters. And one guy, he was saying that he, uh, Tyrone had, had a coke addiction. He had a baby mom and all this other bullshit. And paying child support. And, and paying child support. His career just fell but off we, a cliff. We knew, we knew the entire plot from like the 20 minute mark. We knew exactly what was going on and how it would end. And we called it moment to moment. It was like, yep, that's gonna happen. It should have been trimmed like at least 40 minutes. Like this movie should <laughs> I mean, if you trim it 40 minutes, it's, you can't put, that's not a movie. It's a short film. I don't know what the hell this was. Like. I'd be so mad if I seen this in the theaters. Like. <laughs> I waited so long watching this movie. I waited for something to happen, something to kick grip me. It's just the acting, though. It's like the I don't writing... think he was given much to do, but yeah, at the same the time, he didn't don't... he didn't do well with the stuff he was given. Like you could have put more he, any emotion. Here's the thing, though. Tyro Magnus has a great personality, but they did nothing with him in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> he smiled maybe three times in the movie, and most of it was at the end of the movie. And he gets hit in the head with a pipe and yet he's limping for some reason. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> See, they didn't explain none of this shit. Like, this shit and, is so stupid. <laughs> and yet he's working with the guy even though he got hit in the head. And like, the, the one girl up. that tripped over nothing and somehow got a serious injury. Oh! 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 Who's would you give this movie? On a scale of um, one to five or zero to five? Zero point one. So, you're oh, giving oh, it oh. <laughs> Most because of DC and Gamma. Okay, no, wait, hold on. A one. I'll give it a one because of DC and Gamma. Woo! 
Dion, what are you, what are you, how many woos is this movie getting? I'll give it a one. I'll give it a one. Woo! Woo! That shit was trash. That <laughs> shit was terrible. All right, so I, I, I'll give it, I'll give it a two. Two out of five. Two out of five. Just oh, for no. the characters that I like. <laughs> oh, no, man. The way how they went out bad. <laughs> One on one with the Undertaker. No, no. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> yeah, they did, and then they decided not to cut the last twenty seconds of black screen. <laughs> you had people looking directly at the camera. You oh, saw yeah. the camera crew. The oh, twist was stupid. You gotta have a twist. All right, I'll, I'm gonna give it a one. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you guys can. Like, <laughs> don't believe, don't forget the blue saturation. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. The foreshadowing that was god awful. But you'll all meet her when the time is right. Oh man. Yeah, I, I gotta give it one out of five woos. I ain't you you gotta that. give us something better than this. Poor storytelling, <laughs> bland characters, cardboard acting. The list just goes on. Yo, you block me? Cora, I wanna speak to my daughter. Unblock me now. So anyways, guys, that was our review. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. And bye! Did you break your camera? Nope. Yeah, that, was, that was scarier than the movie. Is drawing near. <laughs> Dion, Dion put more horror into slamming his camera. Ha, 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 ha,